नाइन डे ले लद्दाख रोड ट्रिप वाया श्रीनगर सो द ट्रिप स्टार्ट्स इन द लेक यू हैव टू अराइव एट श्रीनगर एयरपोर्ट और यू कैन टेक द ट्रेन एंड द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ द शेयर जीप और अ बस टू श्रीनगर वन चूरी श्रीनगर वी मीट एट द लेक गेट नंबर वन यू बी टेकन टू योर हाउस बोट डे वन इज़ वेन यू लेक्लमटाइज यू बी चिलिंग एट द हाउस बोट यू टेक अ शिकारा राइड अराउंड द लेक एंड दैट्स अबाउट इट In the evening, you'll go out for dinner, and you'll spend the rest of the evening at leisure. Day two is when a vehicle, either a shared or a private vehicle, most probably a shared vehicle, will pick you up from Dal Lake Gate Number One at around five or six in the morning, and will drive straight to Leh. This will be a long journey. It'll be covering two hundred and twenty odd kilometers. The roads are well made, so expect the travel time to be anywhere between. Five to seven hours to reach uh, Leh from Shri uh, from Srinagar. Along the way, we'll be stopping at Kargil, and that's about it. And one more lunch stop. Once you've reached Leh, you'll be checking into the hotel, and that will be your day two. Day three is when your journey will be about sightseeing around Leh. First, you will visit the Indus Zanskar. confluence which is called locally as sangam after that you'll go to fatar saheb gurudwara magnetic hills shay palace and sorry not shay palace you'll be going to shanti stupa and leh hall of fame so that would conclude day 3 day 4 is when in the morning you'll be packing up and driving all the way to nubra valley crossing kartungla so this will be roughly in the morning at around 8 o'clock you'll leave from your hotel and uh, the journey will begin after crossing kardungla you descend into nubra valley at kardungla we'll be stopping for not more than 10 to 15 minutes because anything more than that will result in a headache and could cause serious damage for the entire trip and your health in the nubra valley the first stop after lunch would be at diskit monastery where the giant lord buddha statue is after stopping at diskit we'll be going straight to a homestay at hundar in the evening on day 4 you'll be visiting the sand dunes at hundar so you can spend time watching the sunset you can either go for a camel ride wear the local attire of the people of nubra or maybe try your hand at archery so that concludes day 4 day 5 you'll be driving from hundar to the remote village of turtuk which is also known as the apricot village in ladakh on day 5 you'll also be visiting the border where you can actually see a few settlements in pakistan after visiting the border and turtuk you'll be returning back to your home to our home stay at hundar on day 5 you'll spend the time chilling by the village uh, sitting by the stream day 6 is when you'll be driving from hundar to pangong taso so this is a 150 km drive and you'll be using the shayok link road which is a faster way to get there so we are potentially should reach uh, pangong taso by around lunch time because it's around 150 160 kilometers spend a few couple of hours or maybe 3 4 hours at uh, pangong till sunset and then drive to our home stay at tangse the reason we don't stay at pangong lake is because there are high chances of people falling sick and that results in a bigger disaster and a headache for us to manage at that altitude and tangse being a village which is the, the closest to the lake it is the best place to stay and uh, a very homely environment where you'll get good food cozy bed and a f- clean washroom day 7 is when we'll be leaving from tangse crossing changla and driving straight back to lay town so this journey is around 280 to 300 km so be prepared for a long journey back and this journey will take anywhere between 7 to 9 hours depending on the road blocks and the traffic that we get along the way once we have reached uh, lay on the 7th day we'll be checking back into the same hotel day 8 is uh, when it's a free day you can either go rafting you can chill in around lay town walk around or you can hire a bike and go biking around lay you can go all the way up to nimmo or you can go and visit hemis she tikse the choice is yours So day eight is a day to relax and chill. Day nine is when you'll be flying out of Leh. So this is what a nine-day road trip by Shri Nagar has to offer. Plan A is at two lakh 
1600 but this is for a group of six so when you divide the, the mentioned amount by six it comes to 33,600 per person and this includes your your breakfast and dinner on from day two onwards and uh, it also includes your transportation entry fee and everything the only thing that's not included in this cost is your flights and your meals on day one and your entry and uh, your lunch entry fee and permits and everything is included in the above mentioned cost plan b which is ideally for solo travelers and small groups is priced at 36750 per person and plan c which is ideally for couples who want to spend only be two in a room and spend some quality time together it is priced at 79800 for two people so if you're planning on traveling to ladakh with us this is an ideal trip since it covers mostly everything that is there to be offered from the Srinagar route.